everybody, I hope you're all well. It's Anastasia and I'm showing you my favorite work outfits. I believe in power dressing. I love a good capsule work wardrobe that empowers you, that gives you options, but still keeps you quite structured. So today I'm gonna show you a total of 27 items that make about 17 different outfits. We have here six main concepts of outfits including six shirts, six bottoms, so you have an outfit for every day of the week with one extra. Just I want to show you the process of how I build them and by adding a few more items, we have two blazers, two extra tops, four bags and six pairs of shoes. We are creating different variations of the same outfits. One of them will also be day to night outfit, but also if you want a more casual outfit for work wear, if it's less formal, you can easily adapt by adding just a few basics you'll have just basically endless options here I believe in good powerful wardrobe it's something that helped me grow my business I'm a founder of personal shopper London um, and last year I decided that it's time to start dressing better for work occasions for meeting and for just you know zoom calls and everything else in between if you also want to take your career or business to the next level uh, watch this and help my channel grow by liking and subscribing uh, to this channel. I want to show you in a way that you see how I built outfits and accessorize them. So in the first outfit I'm going with a pair of loose fitting pleated grey trousers. These are from Naked Fashion. I like how versatile they are and my shirt is the Amalfi striped silk shirt. It's a beautiful navy and cream shirt in a silk by Lily Silk and I have it in a size small. I'm adding a white metal bracelet you can add a statement watch if you have it and I also want to use a thin belt here I have one from Bottega just to give some waist definition here as the top and bottom here are quite loose fitting I also want to keep this outfit in a classy mood so I'm adding a pair of black uh, leather loafers or any other black shoes they're classy mine are from Hermes and they have a little of metal in there and I'm gonna use a structured toad as again uh, both items are a little bit more loose for work uh, you need a little bit of structure in there this one is a duo but I think it also would look awesome with any black tone bag or uh, with maybe a little bit of hardware In my second outfit, I'm going with the pinstripes navy trousers. These are high-waisted and flat on the bottom. This is the one by Zara. This is probably my to-go outfit of the season. It's really simple, but it's really effective and I feel good in it. I'm also adding here a slim fitting shirt. It's a concealed blanket shirt also by Lily Silk and size extra small. I was looking for a shirt like this for such a long time. I love how streamlined it is, it looks great and I also could use it for my evening outfits. The look is less buttons and visible so it makes it a lot more formal and suitable for the evening wear. It feels really luxurious. I'm adding a blazer from the same season Zara but it's not exactly matching a blazer. They have a different stripes. This outfit is quite formal and corporate in its uh, feel so I want to add a few trend elements to make it a bit more current. So I'll add loafers uh, by Mango with the chunky sole and the bag it could be your favorite shade of brown or caramel. I think this Louis Vuitton is a great everyday bag but if I want to go for something bigger uh, that would hold a water bottle, lunch or laptop I will go with this a Mango Toad which is really a steal for the money. Not all work bags I think have to be very structured. I like some of them that are more soft. Outfit number three. I'm going with a pair of very high quality fine wool trousers. They're probably my best ones. I found them at COS. I just know that most of the trousers I do the alteration to ensure the perfect fit. So don't be afraid to 
to use that because it really changes everything. And uh, I want to explore the crop chart trend here, so I'm using this sharp crop chart. Mine is of Prada, but a lot of the brands are doing this trend, so I'll link something similar for you. This combo is exploring this trend, but you don't want to use too many trend items in that formal work environment. So I'm gonna pare it down with a few timeless accessories. A pair of burgundy snake effect heels, these are from mango and a timeless black suede bag on the chain I also like that with the softer leather bag uh, the outfits are looking a bit more effortless this is what I like in the work outfits to finish the outfit I'm adding my uh, to go black blazer this one is by Arcade I changed my to-go blazer from a fitted to an oversized a few seasons ago and I think I like how it works, it really makes it more contemporary and I like how this outfit explores a play of proportions while keeping everything within formal and neutral tones. Now I'm gonna show you an evening variation of the same uh, outfit. Uh, I'll add a, a ruffle that I actually had coming with this shirt. You can get one separately or you can add another fun accessory to change up the top bit a bit or you, maybe you don't even have to do that. I'm adding a lip color and a metallic bag. This bag is by um, Arcade also and this is going to be a dressed up outfit for dinner or drinks after work. Outfit number four, I think this is a good idea on how to wear your fitted shirts that you might already have in your wardrobe, but make it more modern. Opt for a pair of looser fitting high-waisted trousers, these are Zara. For a productive day, but not super formal at work, I think this would do very well. I'm changing my lip back to the natural tone and um, my shoes would be these pair of chunky loafers because the length of the trousers will allow it. I like that the belt on the trousers is structured so you don't really need anything uh, extra. Optional wool needed vest for when the weather is colder or if you will feel cold in, in the office. And the bag that I'm going for with, uh, for this outfit is a dark khaki leather tote. I found it from Zara, really good leather. It is a really optimal size and a body friendly. Outfit number five. I don't see many bloggers recommending look with the fitted trousers or leggings, but if it suits you well, go for it. I think it's a very powerful look and I still love it. I'm using a pair of Totemi leggings here. I have them in a size extra small. They're quite tight fitting, and but they wash quite well. They're a bit stretchy as well if you like fluctuate and retain water. And I'll be adding an oversized shirt, but I want to have it open. So I'm going to be adding a white tank top. Uh, the shirt is actually a current season of another stories if you love it as much as i do grab it before it's gone for the statement and edge i'm adding this new necklace that i got from arcade i like how the links are straight profile and it has adjustable length so super versatile as well uh, for the shoes i'm gonna use a black ballerina flat here this one is from the another stories they're so back this season and for the more formal office outfit or presentation, just change it up to your favorite classy pump. I'm using the same one uh, from Mango. For the bag, I'm using this black suede chain bag by Mango to make it a bit more effortless look. You can really use any of your favorite one. In my second variation of the same outfits, I will close all buttons and this outfit will change into a slightly tomboyish look if you feel like it i think it's fun to explore this option as well and i'll wear a more structured oversized tote with all of the same accessories you can also change your shoes to the shoes with a, a chunkier sole to make it a bit more masculine <laughs> Outfit 
Outfit number six, a change of legging to a flared one. It's new to the current trends and I love how versatile they are for work and more casual outfits. They really go with almost any shoe. Uh, these I want to keep along as they could be worn with the heels or the heeled boots making your legs really long. This shirt is the one with a mandarin collar. It has a slight drop sleeve. It's from Arcade and I got it last year. It is a good for special occasions also quite versatile. The finished edge makes it possible to wear it not tucked and I'm exploring this option here. Note that for very cold weather you can use the same ideas in terms of color, proportions and accessories but to change an item to the one that is more suitable for your condition or add the thermal layer or add something on the top. You could add a cream jumper here, maybe a braided one. I'm just giving you a recipe here what to combine and how to accessorize it for the current season. As for the shoes, I'm gonna try these two options. For a modern look in a colder days I'm gonna use this uh, ankle boot in a dark green artichoke tone uh, I found it in mango uh, I think this really elongates and I like to pair something with black that is not black I'm using a rounded chain necklace here because the old items are quite like edgy and I feel it's some feminine softness is needed to pair it down and the bag I'm gonna use is a caramel tone. The second variation, I'm gonna use my really old classic ballerina flats by Chanel and a suede bag on a chain for a really spring French vibe effortless look for work. And we're at outfit number seven. I'm gonna use the same items. You can literally use endless combination of the same basics. The main idea here is color blocking within outfit. So with a tank top and or a white bodysuit, you can use it here tucked in in your high waist le leggings or trousers. Uh, you are elongating the leg and making your torso a bit smaller. Also, accentuating the waist, making a contrast there. Uh, this look is really simple to recreate and I think it will suit just anybody if you have the right basics. I'm gonna change my necklace here from the round one to the slight uh, small straight and edgy because and that's what I want to do it here and to finish it off and those items as you can see are quite plain they don't have too many detailing they just pops off color so you need to add something of a statement to finish it off I'm using a statement shoes that have a metal buckle or an oversized tote also feel free to add any more accessories in terms of jewelry that you have thank you for watching and i hope my tips will help you to get some fresh ideas on what to wear at work i use it as a tool to simplify your work outfits and dressing in the morning because we need to make major focus on our actual work and i wish you to take your career or your business to the next level this year good luck and bye see you in my next one